I was so scared. I was so scared in all my life. I was shaking like a leaf all over. I, I was yelling, get out of the house as I came in. I kind of rounded the corner by the stove right here, and he met me right in this, just beyond this entry, this doorway right here. And uh, he hit me over the head pretty hard. And, uh, With a hammer. That's uh, what I understand. I never saw it, but that's what I understand. I, I don't know. The police call it a blunt well, force object. Well, the hammer object. was on the floor in the was kitchen. There a hammer? Was there a hammer? I never saw the hammer. I, never, I don't know. Yeah. I only see through. I, I remember being, being blood over here, so I could see just a little bit. And I, remember, but I remember he was something like this, mm -hmm. and I was on the floor here, and, he, and I fired, and I hit him through here. And it went uh, they, found, they found both the casing and the bullet in the room. <laughs> I didn't know if I hit him or not, but evidently I did because his, uh, his interest became immediately the firearm at that point. So he uh, dropped the hammer, or I assume he dropped it, I don't know, but all of a sudden there was a big fight for the gun because he was right on top of me trying to get that away from me. So We wrestled for that for quite a few minutes. So I could hear him out here wrestling. Going, oh, God. Yeah. Don't hurt Eric. You know, I was so scared. Well, I had a uh, uh, fairly small firearm, so and I had my hands on it pretty good. And, I figured whatever you do to me, I'm just not taking my hands off the gun, so I didn't. But, uh, I've had more people offer anything that we need, and, and uh, I just want to say a big thanks to all those people that have first came up and took care of that window. You know, I got my brother shows up from West Virginia to come up here and make sure that, you know, things are going to be okay, so.